Hey guys, Christian here, and today we're going to go over the most common product CSV import problems and how to fix them. Plus, I'm gonna show you a little trick to make sure that you get it right all the time. Let's get started. You use a CSV comma separated values file to import products into your Shopify store and also to export your products. But by using a CSV file, you can import and export a large number of products and their details at one time. So when it comes to spreadsheets and numbers, it's hard to keep everything neat and tidy. So that's why it's easy to run into problems when you're dealing with hundreds and hundreds of products. So in this video, we're gonna go over some of the things that you might be missing. So number one is you're missing a few fields. That could be either at the very top. So at the very top where you have things like uh, the options, the title, the handle, the title, tags, the publish, option, etc you might be missing one of those headers. So all those headers need to be in place in order for the CSV file to be read correctly, right? So in order to make sure that you have all of them, make sure that you download the, uh, the product CSV file that Shopify provides you as a, as a sample, and that will have all the fields in there. Now, part of the, some of the fields that you're missing, another one could be the fulfillment service that can't be blank the inventory policy can be blank inventory quantity can be blank so there are a few fields that you cannot leave blank in order to know which ones um the shopify help center has a great article and it's called using csv files we'll make sure that to link that below but in there you will see if you scroll down a little bit you'll see the description of the product import csv file this will actually go one by one on those fields at the very top it will go over the handle the title the body vendor etc and on the right hand side it will show you the data requirements so if it's required can't be blank or missing so it would actually give you more details on what exactly you need to put for each of these files and some of these can't be blank and some of those are required. Some of them just require you to put a single word that says manual or Shopify. So just be paying attention to those and go one by one and make sure that you have all the required files filled out. Now, before we get into our next thing, I just want to say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pinon, one of the co-founders here at Bitbranding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. And the one way you can support our channel is by hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications. All right, so mistake number two or a common mistake that we see a lot is missing or stray quote lines. So this could be a result of Excel or your other spreadsheet programs that you're using. It's actually adding curly quotes or what is called smart quotes instead of the straight quotes that come down. So to resolve this issue, you need to open the file editor in the text editor or even Excel and just replace anything that has the curly, curly into the straight ones that look just straight, right? So another possible cause is an extra quote too. So you have to make sure that you, the text editor that you're using, whether Excel or Spreadsheets or Google Sheets, um, you're actually using the double quotations, not just the single, single done twice essentially, right? So that's a simple, simple error. It's very hard to detect. And I've gone crazy sometimes uploading files that have the curly quotes instead of the straight quotes. Um, and you'll see that being used a lot on the text or the HTML body, right? Where you might need quotations in there. Um, to use with the, with the HTML, but just make sure that you don't have the curly ones, that you have the, the straight ones. Now, don't forget, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a little trick to make sure that you get it right all the time. It's gonna help you a lot. Stick around for that. All right, mistake number three is that you have the wrong encoding. So remember, this is a CSV file, and it must be UTF-8 encoded with an LF style line feed. It's a bunch of gibberish and words and stuff, but whenever you save a file, um, whether you're using Google Sheets or using Excel, etc., it will give you, when you're saving a CSV file, it will give you options at the end, right? It will open up dial, dial box and it will say, do you want UTF-8, do you want something else, do you want LF style line feeds? So you wanna make sure that you're saving it correctly in order to upload it properly. All right, mistake number four is your images are all messed up or you don't even know where to start with images. So doing multiple images per product can be a little bit tricky, but the best thing to do here is to upload them to Shopify first. That's the one thing that you need to do is upload the images to Shopify first. Now you wanna to go to settings and then inside of settings, you'll see files. And then in files, you wanna upload the images. 
in here and then this will automatically give you a link so you want to copy that link for that particular uh, product that you have in here and then you want to go back to your spreadsheet and where it says image source that's where you'll paste that URL that it gives you. You can add actually up to 100 or not 100, 250 images uh, per product. The one thing you need to make sure is that you are repeating the product handle. That very first column has to be the same and then the image source URL will change on the other hand. So if I'm looking over here at this particular product, you'll see that the product handle on the left hand side, colorful bones, colorful bones, colorful bones, repeats three times. That's because I have three different uh, size options, right? I have small, medium, and large. Maybe I want different images for each of those, and I can do that by just doing the image source and creating um, a new image, right? And uploading it to Shopify first, and then pasting the URL right here in the image source. All right, so we made it. This is the little trick that I was talking about earlier in this video. The best thing you can do to make sure that you upload all your products correctly is to, export it first. Let me explain. So what you wanna do is add maybe five to 10 products in your store manually. So you actually have to put in a little bit of work initially. And then after you do that, you wanna to go to products and then hit that export button. You can do current page or you can do all your products, which you only have you know a handful of products in there. So you wanna do all products and then CSV for Excel. You wanna export that file. And then that file is gonna actually give you exactly what you need to have on your product import list, right? So it's gonna give you examples of some of the things that you'll run into. So um, how do you do the variant, right? The size variance or the color variance for this particular product. Then just add one product and add it manually with the variance and the colors and the correct pricing, uh, maybe the correct discount, etc. And then export that file. And you'll have a visual on how that will look in a CSV file. So for example, for this one, you can see that color for bones. I have the size, small, medium, large. This right here tells me that, okay, I don't need to necessarily put size and then size again, because that's not how Shopify reads it. You could find this out by reading all the Shopify documentation, which can be kind of lengthy and boring. So if you want a faster, maybe easier way to know how exactly how it will work for your store and your products, then adding a few products, download, exploiting, and then looking at it, will give you a better idea. All right, so we went through a few of the common mistakes that we see when importing products with a CSV file. If you have any other issues, let me know down in the comments. We might make a part two on this video with some of the things that you're running into. Now, don't forget to leave a comment, and if you have any questions about anything that we talked about, let, them, let, let us know down below. 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 Why are you whispering? Hey, if you're watching this video, you're probably someone who wants to know the keys to e-commerce growth and success in the long term. Then you need to check out our free training on the five pillars that must be in place to grow and scale profitably for your brand. Check out the link in the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I wanna hear from you. Leave some comments down below. Also like this video, that will help us out a lot. We'll see you in the next one.